Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with Easy to Learn Student Dashboard. So first, we are entering to Easy to Learn dot in URL. After entering Easy to Learn dot in website, now you need to go to the login page. Here, I'm giving you one of the example of the student. So you need to type roll numbers. The roll number will be your username. So you need to enter your roll number and at this moment I am giving you the password which is shared to you all. Yeah, after entering to this you can see the courses which are available to the particular user. So currently we have two courses, one is MySQL and another one is C++. And if you want to go inside to the MySQL, press button MySQL and you can see the number of chapters which are available in that. Number one, introduction, setup and installation, MySQL, database operations and so on. If you want content inside that, you click on the particular chapter. You can see all the topics of concepts. Here you can observe five tabs are there. One is concept, the second one is lecture video, third one is interview questions. These are the interview questions. If you want to open show solution and hide solution. Like this you can see various questions belongs to the particular chapter. And then we have MCQ and then we have code practice. Now let's see concepts. In these concepts, if you feel any one of the concepts is important for your future uh, purpose, you can also use bookmark. When you click the bookmark, and then that is click on sign as button. button, future reference. So later like this, if I have bookmark two topics. So while reading, if you want to see only the bookmarked uh, content, you click here, see here only two bookmarks content is showing. Out of all the topics, only you can see two topics which are you previously bookmarked. Now you can see all content. Yeah. So this is the first topic, concepts. The next lecture videos, entry questions and let us go with MCQ. How you can practice multiple choice questions, I will show you. So this is MCQ tab. Next, I am going to press start practice button. Here you have 10 questions. For every chapter, you have multiple choice questions. So I am going to write some of the answers. What does MySQL stands for? My structured query language, standard query language and so on. So I am just selecting this. My structured query language. If it is correct, you are getting the green color. Let's say, actually for this, which of the following is the default storage engine? It is InnoDB. For a testing point of view, I'm going to write, uh, select this option. This is a wrong option. See if it is wrong, it will show you what is correct also. Likewise, you can answer all your multiple choice questions. Yeah, so here how many correct? Here you got 90% and one is wrong. So if you want to review the, your answers, you can use the review answers button or if you want to restart again one more time, you can write here. Now I'm using review answers. So like this, you can see what is your answer and what is correct answer. So like this, you can see uh, using multiple choice questions. Now, later like this, you are practicing daily all the multiple choice questions. Now, you want to see the reports, go to the my reports. Here you are working with worksheets so far, right? You got 99 uh, by 10. So, worksheets. So far, I did not work with any self-test and college test. So, now with this worksheet, you can see the results. 
So how many daily whatever you practice, all those worksheet reports will be displayed here. You can see the results. So this is a score, total 10 questions and you know what is your speed and everything, 9 out of 10 and you can also see the solutions here in the next tab. So like this you can see the reports. And if you want to write an exam which is conducted by the college, you need to go to college test. Here so far you don't have any college test. If the college test is there and you need to answer it, this college test how can you write and you can watch in the next video. Uh, the next video it will show you only the college exam how can we write. And you can also see self challenge. In this self challenge, you can select the subject you want. If you select uh, MySQL, all chapters will be displayed. <coughs> if you select C++, you can see all the chapters will be displayed. Now I want MySQL and uh, I will select what are the chapters you want to practice. And you can select number of questions, whether you want 15 questions and what is the maximum time. So here you can set the number of questions and time by your own, then you can write the exam. Say for example, time being, I'll set five questions and the time will be five minutes. Then let's start the exam. So likewise, you can set your own. See here how many questions are coming? Five questions and five minutes. You can set 10 questions at a time, 15 questions and 20 questions likewise and the questions will come randomly. But what is the difference of previous uh, quiz as well as here the self challenge? Here when you select the answer, the immediately what is wrong, what is correct, it will not show. The only thing is you need to go to next. Here also go to the next. So finally after completion of your exam, then only you can, it will show the output. Yeah, finally I am submitting, then only you can see the result. That means previously, then and there itself, like uh, for every question you can see whether it is correct or wrong. But whereas here, only you can see at the end of the exam only. Likewise, you can do self challenge, which will help you to set within the particular time. You can do 10 questions, 20 questions like this. So you can have a practice. If you want to answer, you can review answers. So you can see uh, what you have attempted and what is correct and what is wrong. Since I given all correct answers, that's why I did not get any wrong answers. So for this, you can see, go to the report. Previously, you did one worksheet and you want to see the report of self-test and go to the self-test tab and you can see here the report is generated and press result action button and you can see the report of self-challenge. So likewise, you can use this dashboard for your regular daily practice point of time. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, you can see how you can write a college examination and how to generate the report. We'll watch in the next video. Till then, happy learning.